Welcome to the Anamia project. Today we are going to learn how to use data visualization to analyze personal network data. For our study, several hundred respondents were invited to take an online survey. An important part of this survey was represented by an ego-centered sociogram. A sociogram is an interactive application allowing our respondents to map their contacts, friends, family members, both online and offline. Each sociogram represents the distinctive social network of each respondent. The Anamia project is about health behaviours. So at the end of the survey, respondents were asked who among all their contacts they would talk to in case of a health issue. This translates into a database of hundreds and thousands of cells. How do we visualize, organize, analyze this data to accurately present the meaning of those personal networks? This dynamic visualization represents our entire corpus. Each gray bar stands for one respondent. If we click on it, we access the respondent's personal network. The gray circle at the center represents the respondent. By clicking on the plus button, we discover its unique identifier and other relevant information. Face-to-face -face contacts are represented by the empty dots. Computer-mediated contacts are represented by full dots. If the dot is yellow, it means that that contact is close. If the dot is blue, it means it's very close. If the dot is green, it means that that contact is emotionally close with our respondent. If it's red, it means that they are somewhat distant acquaintances. If contacts know each other, they are connected by a tie, and if they are a member of the same group, they are included in the same social circle. At any time, we can stop the visualization by clicking on pause. Now, we can explore the graph. When we hover the mouse over any contact, the relevant information is displayed. Its gender, status, the number of its ties, and the distance from the respondent. By doing this, we can have a finer insight into the personal network composition. This in-depth analysis is all the more relevant if we are dealing with multiplex contacts, persons with whom we interact both online and offline. They are represented by full dots embedded into empty dots. If we click on pause, the visualization starts again. By positioning themselves around the respondent, the contacts create complex structures made of ties, clusters and groups. To make sense of this complexity, we have to find a way to select a subset of relevant contacts. As you might remember, at the end of our questionnaire, our respondents were invited to select their significant contacts in a case of a health issue. Some of them were made to face a minor issue, some others were facing a serious problem. So what happens to the structure of a personal network in case of a serious problem? After clicking on the specific button, we observe that a majority of the contacts distance themselves from the respondent. However, a small minority is attracted closer and closer in order to create a support network. Now we can start asking questions about those contacts. How many of them are persons with whom the respondent interacts exclusively online or exclusively offline? How many of them are multiplex contacts? Persons with whom the respondents interact both face-to-face -face and on the internet. How do our respondents' personal networks structure themselves both online and offline? At the end of the day, how important are online sociability and the sense of community that comes with the web in dealing with the everyday problems of our respondents? These are only some of the research questions our visualization can help answer in the foreseeable future. To know more about the Anamia project, feel free to visit our website and follow our Twitter account.